Hello, my name is Jonathan Harris from Worldwide Camera Exchange. Canon, Canon Flex camera. Really interesting camera, historically very, very significant. This was Canon's first SLR, aimed at the pro market, mechanical shutter, solidly made, interchangeable prism. First camera to use the, uh, the Canon breech lock system, which went on to become the Canon FD system. So to take the lenses off, you just turn this collar here, you just pull the lens off. Now to put them back on again, you put the lens back on in the, the normal shooting position, in the 12 o'clock position, drops it drops back on, collar does up, really quick and easy. Certainly better than positioning your lens at two o'clock or 10 o'clock or, or, or seven o'clock. A really nice system, but it didn't last. Um, so why has nobody heard of this camera? There's a good reason, a very good reason. It was introduced in 1959. 1959 was also the year that Nikon introduced the, the Nikon F, which everybody has heard of. So. These two were introduced in the same year, both solidly made, both beautifully made, but the Canon, unfortunately, had some drawbacks, which really resulted in Canon as a manufacturer not capturing the hearts of professional photographers until probably, hmm, I don't know, until probably the later EOS cameras, some 30 odd years later. Yeah, it's a great camera, it's a really nice camera, but something you might have spotted that's missing on the top. It's got no wind-on crank. That's because the wind-on crank is underneath. So you wind with your left hand, you look through here with, and fire with your right hand. Now that's a system that carried across from the kind of rangefinder cameras. Some people loved it, some people hated it. One big problem with it is that if you want to mount that to a decent tripod, you can't mount it to a decent tripod and still use the wind crank, which was a real drawback. The other drawback with the Canon system was that they only had a few lenses available. Uh, the Nikon system, the system for the F, was a lot more comprehensive. Many more lenses, different viewfinder systems, different motor drive systems. That's all stuff that the Canon just didn't have. And as, as a result of that, throughout the 1960s and really through the 70s, and as I said through the 80s, and probably most of the 90s as well, Nikon really took the lead amongst professional photographers. And as a professional photographer, in, 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 the, in those decades, the chances are that you would, you would buy the Nikon. And all you've got to do actually is look at the, uh, the production figures. I think the Nikon F, they made 800, eight to 900,000 cameras over its lifetime. Canon Flex, this was produced for about 10 or 11 months. They produced about 17,000 of them. This was replaced by the R2000, which had a 2,000th of a second top speed, and then replaced by the RP. But as a system, frankly, it was a flop, which is a real shame because these are just really nice, solidly made cameras. This particular camera has one particular very interesting feature. I don't know if you can see that, but just there, 10021. And look at the lens, just here, 10056. This is the 21st camera, the 21st SLR camera that Canon ever made, which really is quite something. I hope that's interesting. If you have any comments, please stick them in the uh, comments boxes. If you have any of these Canon Flex cameras, it'll be interesting to hear from you. Um, otherwise, please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.